short video I will be painting a goldfish with watercolor. This technique is very popular but this is the first time I'll be ever trying it and um, if you watch the video till the end you will see the result if I succeeded or not. So first thing I'm going to do I'm going to paint the fish. It's a relatively easy subject. It's a lot of fun to paint. I am going to use just a few colors. A couple of yellows, a couple of oranges and some ultramarine blue and some purples. two layers to get the fish as bright as it needs to be. The first layer lightened quite a bit, so I'm just going to intensify some colors with the second layer. And I think some areas on the tail and on the fins can use a little opera pink. I love that color, I used it quite a bit. to add some scales that we can see there on the fish and paint those dark spots. And that's it, the fish is done. I will add a few details later, but now I'm going to work on the background. I'm switching to a flat brush so I can pick up a lot of pigment. I want the background to be very dark. I'm using ultramarine blue and I'm spraying away from the my subject, from my fish. I want to mix colors on paper. I don't want any hard edges, but I want a hard edge around the fish for the most part. I will soften it in some places, but for the most part, the edge around the fish will be hard. So this is a half an inch flat brush. It gives me sufficient control so I can work around the fish. This method is called negative painting. I demonstrated it several times on my channel for flower paintings, but it also works great for many different subjects. If your subject is lighter than the background and you have to paint around it, like I have to do with this little cute fish. I am mixing in magenta into my ultramarine blue to get deep purple color in the background. These are both transparent colors and they work great for water because you don't want any opaque uh, colors when you paint water. So lots of pigment and you can see the brush strokes even though I'm softening them with my spray bottle and I'm tilting my support to get the colors to mix. I think some brush strokes will still be visible which is fine because there are some rocks behind the fish and I want them to have texture. I, want, I don't want the background to be all flat and even. I want it to have some texture and I will be adding even more texture with salt in a second like I said in the beginning I never used so I'm really curious to see how it works and if you did try this technique before using salt for texturing your watercolor please let me know in comments if you like that technique or not and if you found it helpful or not the background lightened after it dried so I'm going to add a second layer basically doing the same thing with a bigger brush and intensifying all the colors. I'm mostly using ultramarine blue and I'm also mixing in a bit of Scarlet Lake which gives me super dark and a warm purple color. Works great for this deep dark water behind the fish. not 
covering the whole sheet this time uh, because I want to have some areas a little lighter. Like I said, I want texture on the background. I don't want it to be flat. So I'm going to spray some water and now let's add some salt to our dish. My background, you can see by the shine, some areas are drier and some areas are wetter and some areas are very wet. And I read about this technique that the texture that you get will depend on how wet is your background. So the texture will look different depending on the moisture. You see I sprinkled salt everywhere. I'm going to wait for the background to dry and then I want to see what it looks like. You can already see some texture where the background was very wet. We see big blossoms, which I love. I think it looks really good for this subject matter, for this style of painting. While my background is still drying completely, I'm going to work on some details on the fish. I'm using white gouache to add a few highlights and details on the fins and on the tail. using a small liner brush to add some fine details with watercolor, which I didn't have a chance to work on before when I was painting the fish. Okay, my fish is done. I'm going to add a little splattering to show some water bubbles because I think to connect my subject to the sides of the paper I'm going to brush off the salt. Actually the brush that I used didn't work so much so I kind of scrubbed off the salt with my hands a little bit and my painting is dry and completed and here is the final result. Watercolor painting with some texture added on the background with salt. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will try this technique if you haven't before. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video here on Tamirab Studios channel.